Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sammy here with another video, and in today's video I am planning the week of Monday, September 18th through Sunday, September 24th in my Erin Condren Life Planner, but before we do that I thought it would be fun to quickly like update some of my memories in this planner, and so um, that's why I'm on my monthly spread right now. Um, this month, I thought it would be fun to do a gratitude challenge, and I just stole the gratitude challenge that Moxie Life did last year, and I'm answering those questions every day in my planner, um, and it's been super fun to reflect on that and to really see, like, what I'm grateful for and what matters most in my life. Um, I also have some pictures that I wanted to add to this monthly spread. This first one is one of our family pictures that we took um, a few weeks ago. We got them back and I'm finally getting it in my planner. I already ordered and printed out actual like big copies that we are going to frame. But I really wanted to add these in here. And then also this one is of my cat Pepper. And she's actually posing with this planner spread when I was setting it up because she is my planner cat. And she always has been. And so I'm going to put her right there. And I'll probably write some things later, but I don't want to write stuff in it now. Um, and then let's go back to this week because this is the last week that I showed you guys like in or on YouTube my planner set up for the first official week of September. I kept it very simple because I wanted to do some memory keeping um, from my concert that I went to, which was Ed Sheeran. And so I have some pictures here and you guys, the bad news is that there was no concert. Um, he canceled and I am super sad about it. Well, he didn't really cancel. It's been rescheduled. But, um, yeah. It was pretty crazy what happened. Um, we were told through Ticketmaster. Kind of like this rundown or schedule of how things were going to go. And we were told that um, parking was going to be open at the stadium at 3 30 and then the doors would open at 4 30 so we got there at 3 30 so we could get a good parking spot and we actually were parked next to his merch truck and so we just immediately went and got merch um and by the time we got through that line we um we would only have to wait like 10 minutes by the gate so we went and got in line at the gate and the doors never opened and we were like, what's going on? People, it was getting super hot. People were passing out and throwing up because it was Vegas. Like, I think the high that day was like, it was triple digits. But it was like 105, 107 outside. I don't know, maybe higher than that. But it was super hot. They weren't explaining what was going on at all. And then through Twitter, we got an update that... Um, Allegiant Stadium would re-announce when the gates would open at 5.30. So an hour later than they were supposed to. Um, and then from there, we actually got to go in. They opened the doors finally at 5.15. But then when we got inside the stadium, they weren't letting anyone to their seats. Which was super weird. And um, finally, through Instagram, I was just scrolling through while we were waiting. And Ed himself posted on Instagram saying that the show was canceled due to stage issues. Apparently, like the adhesive floor that Allegiant Stadium put on the ground, it, this, it kept st like peeling up. And so the stage was like moving a lot and things were falling over and it just wasn't safe and I totally understand safety first and everything but it was just like I don't know they knew of 
all these issues happening the that morning and so I don't know why they wouldn't have posted something earlier letting people know um and Allegiant Stadium never said anything they let us in everyone was buying water because it was so hot outside and food and whatever they needed and then we were told that it was canceled for that night um it is rescheduled for the end of October and we are planning to come back but it was kind of crappy situation um but here are my pictures that I took um while I was in Vegas and so my husband and I we did the coke tour around the world um so I'm just going to kind of like write that in here um but anyway it was super sad and yeah I don't know I felt like they could have handled things a lot differently but it's whatever um so instead that night we actually got to hang out with one of my husband's friends and we went to dinner with him and then just toured around Vegas and then we came home on Sunday <laughs> and so yeah that was that fun little trip my daughter got to go to the zoo with my parents because that's who she was staying with. And so I also have a picture that they took that they sent me of that. But there's that. I'm pretty sad that I used this kit because I really wanted to use it for my Ed Sheeran week because I feel like this is very Ed Sheeran-esque in a lot of ways. But it's fine. Now he gets Halloween stickers. Um, and then I just wanted to add this sticker of me and my daughter because I love her and life is kind of hard right now with teaching and everything and she makes me happy when all of the skies are gray. So now that we are through all of that, let's go ahead and dive into setting up this week in my planner. I am using the Christian Design Celebrations Collection um, kit for fall and I'm super excited. These stickers are super cute and fun and honestly probably my favorite kit for this whole year. Like I love the colors. But anyways let's go ahead and just jump in. Sorry I'm trying to find some certain sticker but I don't know where it is so we're just gonna kind of spread everything around oh it's right here that's why I couldn't find it but yeah so this week is pretty normal I guess you could say um nothing too crazy is going on just work and that's about it. Um, like I said, I'm kind of struggling right now with my job. I have a really rough group of students, eighth grade students, eighth grade boys to be more specific, and I really don't know what to do about them. And I've reached out to my admin and they have not really been that helpful. And so I'm just trying to figure things out on my own, really. Like, I don't know what else I can do at this point. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I'm just super frustrated, I guess, with the whole thing like I'm trying my best and I don't know I just I need to figure it out but it's really killing like my passion for teaching and I've talked about this with a coworker. um just how much I love teaching but how I'm really like thinking about like other options just because 
I am getting exhausted of the behaviors and no support and all of the crazy expectations and I don't know like I just want to be able to teach I want to have fun in my classroom and do my job and I feel like I can't do my job and then there's so many extra things I have to do with my job that I don't really feel are necessary and so I don't know I'm just feeling super exhausted and I feel bad because um my family is definitely getting the last little bits lately of me and I know that's not fair to them it's not fair to myself either to feel that way and so like I don't know I'm trying to be more positive and think of ways that I can manage these behaviors but as of right now it's nothing's working I've tried positive reinforcement um, classroom community building type stuff and I don't know nothing's working and so and it's only September so I'm feeling really sad about my job um but yeah so that's kind of where I'm at with that um I don't know where I was going with that but I'm hoping that I can fix it I'm really hopeful of that but we'll see because yeah I don't know I it's just weird behavior like stealing vandalizing things like that and they just don't see me as an authority figure which I've noticed that is a common theme in our school is boys do not see their female teachers as authority figures but as soon as a male teacher comes into the classroom it's a total different story which is super frustrating but I don't know and I've contacted parents parents don't care because they just see me as their child's babysitter or caregiver for the day while they are at work so I don't know and I know all of this is like super negative to say but it's really like what is the reality right now like of education and so I don't know it's just frustrating but I'm gonna try to stay positive and figure things out and I'll keep you guys posted but um I appreciate everyone's sweet messages that reached out this last week though when I was kind of talking about it on Instagram I really really appreciate you guys um, I'm trying to find my cutter. There it is. But now we are setting up the week, or at least trying to. It feels like forever that I've like actually done a plan with me. But I think that's because I didn't film last or this this like last week. And so yeah, I don't know. But anyways, I'm super excited for fall and everything that comes with it. I am kind of like getting that itch to start wearing like sweaters and my sweatshirts and everything like that. But, um... It's still like really warm <laughs> where I live and so still waiting on that for sure. I tried it the other day when it was a little bit cooler and I just got really hot. So I ended up changing but it's fine. It will come eventually. I saw in the forecast that we should start going into like the low 70s high 60s in where I'm at so I'm all there for that 
that was super crooked but oh, that's fine I need to trim this it's like super weird there we go maybe I don't know what I'm doing you guys why won't you cut have to pull out my scissors I will there we go there we go okay so there's that I love this washi it's probably my most favorite thing ever okay let's start putting some stickers down so I have my morning routine and then I'll just put my evening routine at the very end here. Um, and then we have work. And then I think I'm going to put my fun little quote sticker right here and wipe that off maybe I'll keep this other like quote stuff for later I don't know um, but then I have my little to-do list for the week um, I'm really thinking about planners for next year 2024 um we're at the end of september and so planner launches are starting to arise throughout um different companies i know aaron condren has released stuff for 2024 i'm not interested in any of that um simplify just did their launch for 2024 I didn't get anything there um because no spend no my no spend by the way is going so well i have not bought anything this month for myself like books stickers planner stuff whatever i've been super disciplined with that um which i'm so proud of myself and it's also helped me realize that like i really don't need the majority of the stuff i'm buying which goes back to me thinking about planners for the next year. I really feel like I'm arising to like my one planner era, if that makes any sense. Um, I just really feel like I don't need a daily and a weekly like I've always felt like I've needed um and I don't know I just feel like I'm in a season of life where I just need one I'm still kind of thinking about what one I need sorry I remembered I had a behavior meeting on Tuesday morning but I think I'm leaning towards a weekly planner and um it's not this one that I'm using like I'm not gonna get rid of my Erin Congren because I feel like I'm shifting this more to be like a memory keeping type planner and I'm just using it kind of like a weekly um a normal weekly just because I can. I don't really have another weekly. I know I have my plum paper vertical priorities and I like to use that to like outline my week and kind of help me like make sure I have everything written down that I need to write down. Um, but I don't know. So that's kind of where I'm at with planners. I'll talk more about it later. Um, but I'm really eyeing 
moxie life right now again and I don't know I feel like definitely from last year or this year beginning of this year um, the moxie life planner is super big and it's definitely for me not a memory planner goal planner everyday planner like I just had so much in that planner that I feel like that's why I couldn't use it the way I wanted to as it was bursting at the seams. Um, but I feel like if I were just to use the weekly planner for goal setting and like simple weekly planning, um, I don't know. I feel like it could, it could work. Um, I have been thinking a lot also of like my sticker usage and like do I really need stickers <laughs> I know that kind of sounds crazy um and I'll still buy some stickers and support some shops that I just love but like these are things that like I've just been like really thinking about the past little while and I don't know I just feel like I'm really enjoying not buying a lot of stuff and the simplicity of my life and I just don't feel suffocated with things and so to be continued I guess like we'll figure this out and you'll obviously you'll know what I decide because I'll share it with you but I don't know that's just a lot of my thoughts um my daily planner that I currently am using is a simplified daily planner for those that may not know and I love it and I love just like brain dumping in it so I don't think I would necessarily like stop using it but I don't really show it anyways on my YouTube or even like my Instagram that much but I feel like I would just use it more for like brain dumping and like figuring things out simplifying things that kind of thing and so I don't know but I still Feel like a one planner era is coming and I'm definitely eyeing Moxie Life and all of their changes that they've done to their planner um like the coil super excited about that and the covers this year are just so amazing and they just make me really happy and so I don't know I'm just feeling a lot of feelings at the moment about Moxie Life and what they have to offer this next year. So anyways, there's that. Take what you will. Um, but I'm just super excited for 2024. I feel like 2023 has been a good year in a lot of ways. It's been a lot of fun. And I'm super actually proud of myself, my family, for a lot of the things that we have done and accomplished and the things that I've learned this year. And I feel like I just want to keep up that momentum into 2024. And I'm already kind of like thinking about my goals, what I want to accomplish next year, um, and all of that because... We're literally almost in the fourth quarter of the year. So, lots of thinking happening around here. Um, but it's a good thing. It's like a lot of like reflective type of thinking. But anyways, um, so yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are about planners in general and what planners you have your eyes on for 2024 or if you are a um, academic planner user what planner are you currently using and are you going to be sticking with it because I know there's a lot of academic planner users like myself who start in a planner in July or August and end up changing it in December <laughs> And so, just let me know down in the comments. Um, 
But yeah, I'm just super excited to see what I come up with. I don't know. Um, but like I said, this planner is not going anywhere. I am going to transform it more into memory keeping just because I've already started it and I really don't want to throw this planner away um, at all. And so there's that. But I think next year when Erin Condren releases their monthly planners, I think that's what I want to use for memory keeping. It's what I used my very first year when I did memory keeping back in 2019 and I loved it. Um, because I loved how I had the monthly spread so I could do whatever I wanted to there. But then I also could like use those blank line pages for like journaling pages and for pictures and spreads and whatever I wanted to. And I didn't have to really like keep up with it like every day like how this is. Um, I've tried doing that before, like keeping up with everything all at once and like with a weekly memory planner and it was just a lot. I also decided to do that the year I had my daughter <laughs> and that was even a lot more than what I had planned, but it's fine. It... It worked out. It actually is one of my favorite planners, memory keeping planners that I have. So I feel like it's fine. But if I were to go back and change anything, I would stick 100% to just monthly memory keeping. It's because that works for me. And that's another thing that I'm like really appreciating is I am finally like realizing who I am as a planner and I am just embracing that and loving it and just wanting more of who that person is and so anyways it's just it's an exciting time <laughs> for myself as a planner um but yeah anyways back to this week it's super basic I just really have work and then some things that I have to get done. On Saturday, though, my cousin and I were going to, like, a vintage farmer's market. Which should be fun. I'm really excited for that. Um, and then I have some things I have to get done, too. So my plan is that morning. Well, actually, we're going to flip this. Because, yeah. In the morning... I'm going to run my errands because she has something she has to do in the morning. And it starts at 10, but we probably won't be getting there until like 11, 1130, which is totally fine. Um, and then we'll just spend our day there. So I'm going to ignore the fact that I wrote 1030 on there and just... Do what I need to do. And then Sunday. We have nothing but church. So I'm just gonna lift up my little cute fall Steve, which is also my favorite Steve. I think him and Anxiety Steve are my most favorite this time around in the Celebrations Collection. Which also, I'm hoping that we get an announcement for when the 2024 Celebrations Collection comes out. Because I am obviously buying that. But they always, it always changes between like December and January. But I'm assuming and hoping that since Kristen pregnant and having her baby in January that we will be able to get it in December but I don't know that would be fun to know though so 
I can kind of plan for that. But now I'm just going to quickly stick some fun little deco stuff around. Um, I have the big deco as well, but I want to use that in my Simplified Planner. For the week so we are just gonna play with this and have fun with it really quickly The last planner spread in September. I'm not mad. This is so cute and fun. I love the colors. I love how they're still fall colors, but they're like not traditional fall colors. I always appreciate that about Kristen's designs is that she sticks with like traditional themes and whatnot, but then she kind of like has her own twist on it and it's just super fun. But anyways, you guys, here's my week. It's just a bunch of work and then getting some things done, um, achieving some goals and getting all those last minute things done before a new month starts and a new quarter, which is crazy that we are almost to quarter four of this year and it's just going to be great. I'm very hopeful for the months ahead in the new year. And so anyways, um, let me know what's something you're excited about that's coming up um it could be either this week or within the next month or whatever for me I'm just excited to enjoy the week um find the small positive things that are happening in my life and yeah just taking it one day at a time really I know that might sound cheesy but that's what I need right now so anyways you guys that is it for today don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my planning videos or content here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.